All right, you ready, Sweet Tea? Always ready, always ready. This one is for the aspiring behavior scientists and those that just want to figure out why people lie and figure out their emotions. So today, we're going over Paul Ekman's seven basic emotions and the way people try to conceal them in order to mislead others. Thanks so much for tuning in and those who you're interested in understanding behavior and trying to give you some hacks on just how to deal with the world, how to deal with dating, how to deal with hiring the right people. I hope you use it responsibly and use it for good purposes and to help people. So don't forget, hit that bell so that way you get notified of all of our videos. So I want you to know this is not covered by my board certified behavior analyst credential because some of this still has to be validated further in the behavior analytic literature. But I do want you to know Paul Ekman, as we mentioned in a previous video, had spent 50 years researching this and he combined information from Darwinism through evolution, phylogenetic behavior, combined it with a lot of experiments and 50 years of deep research. Also, I want you to know that in 2009, Paul Ekman was named one of the 100 most influential people in the world. Little fun fact you may not know, he's been asked by sitting presidents to train him on how to conceal their emotions. And it usually in a positive way. So realizing that uh, a sitting president may need to learn how to have a certain poker face so that they don't let on when it comes to dealing with other countries that might not have America's best interest at heart. Emotion number one that many people try to conceal. And it can be seen by very small micro expressions at people's first reaction. And the first one is anger. And you'll see some of the different photos we'll put in here. But an example of a micro expression with anger would be a really quick, something similar to that. I know that's weird, but that's a micro expression. Micro expression number two, it exemplifies disgust. And that expression looks like this. Micro expression three, which exemplifies the emotion of contempt, is this. Emotion number four is characterized by an expression like this, which is happiness. And it's important to know that real smiles and real happiness, Paul Ekman indicates that you can actually see the crow's feet because the smile is influenced all the way up your face to your eyes. So when someone just kind of goes like this, it's a fake smile. It's more likely to be authentic when they smile and you see crow's feet. Emotion number five, that many people try to conceal is sadness. And Paul Ekman's demonstration of this looks something like this. Emotion number six that many people try to conceal is fear. And the example of fear looks something like this. And emotion number seven that many people do try to conceal is surprise which may look something like this. So as you're gonna see, I'm gonna credit Paul Ekman on this video and I wanna roll this clip. And what you'll see is back with the O.J. Simpson trials, he would review video footage of someone having certain micro expressions while they're on the stand. And this is important for law enforcement officers to be able to identify and people in general that wanna understand whether someone could be engaging in misleading behavior. And this one was by Cato Kalin, who had a micro expression while on the stand with, he had the look of anger and scorn. And you'll see that right here. What you're seeing is scorn, a combination of anger and disgust, wrinkling of the nose, raising and tightening of the upper lip. He was frustrated, angry, and scorned because he was lying, and later found out that he was lying. Again, what do you do with these seven emotions and understanding them? Another thing is for you to know that one indicator that someone might be less than honest or lying is that after they tell a lie or they do something misleading, they often have a certain look which they call duping delight. So after someone feels like they misled you, sometimes they smirk. I can't really do that face very well, so I'm not gonna try. But they call it duping delay, like they got away with something. It often happens after the misleading behavior. What else can you do 
with this scientific information or this evidence-based information in Paul Ekman's world. Besides them training the CIA, the FBI, and law enforcement, one thing that's important for you to know, there's some literature suggesting that you can almost change your behavior and your emotions and your feeling just by engaging in the expression, which is really interesting. If you're feeling really down and you're trying to pump yourself up to feel good, there is some evidence out there. Now, again, this is not covered by my board certified behavior analyst credential, but there's some evidence showing that if you change your behavior and your expression, your actual emotions may change with it. An example of that be, would be when you're feeling sad and you want to act happy, you just smile like crazy. And there's some evidence that it makes you feel happier. That's a behavior hack. And I'm gonna leave you with one last behavior hack now that you understand some of the micro expressions and the emotions and the facial expressions that people try to conceal. A little suggestion that I have, and this is my suggestion, I don't know that this is evidence-based, but this works in my experience because I, I interview people every single day, five to 10 people per week. And for that period of time, and actually for people that I interact with regularly, I tend, this is gonna be weird, but this hack is a good one, I tend to act aloof, like, I don't know anything. It's important to know that. So the more you can sometimes appear aloof, the more you can find out if people have information that you, you may already have the accurate information, but if someone thinks you don't have the accurate information, they may feed you a lie. By you appearing to be aloof to the situation, you often can find out if their actions and words don't match the real situation and the evidence that you already have before the meeting. So those are my top seven emotions by Dr. Paul Ekman and a couple of behavior hacks on what you can do with that knowledge. Stay tuned because we're gonna go over situations where politicians and public figures were caught in a lie later. A retrospective review of the video footage so you can look for those micro expressions that tried to conceal the lie.